Hello everyone. Welcome to this open SAP micro learning on how to mass change field values for business partner master data using start mass maintenance business partner app. My name is Shilpa and I am a product manager for SAP S4 HANA. In this short video, you will learn how easy it is to change field values in a mass process for business partner master data. Mass maintenance of business partner allows users to update multiple business partner master data records at a time. This can be done by simply selecting the fields or records to be updated and entering new values. The system also provides statistics on the changed fields and performs data validation. Users can verify validated data and activate to enable its usage. This serves as efficient master data maintenance process and of course saves time when several records need to be updated at once. Now let's jump straight to the demo to understand how this process actually works. First, I will select Maintain Business Partner App. To show the field, I will be updating in this demo. So on selecting the app, I will search for business partner whose name starts with S-T-A-R-T. In this case, I have one record that is Startup SE. Let's select it and then display in business partner role as customer. Click on sales and distribution, then select the billing tab. And here we have the field of interest that is terms of payment. We can check the field data by right clicking, click on help, and then the small settings icon. Here, here we have the information of field data that is table name KNBV and Z term as the field name. Let's remember these details because we are going to use them in the next steps. Now let's get into the start mass maintenance process. We can begin this process by, by providing an appropriate description. Let's call it, say, test. Click on Save, and it indicates that a new process has now started. Here from the template, we can see that we will go through a series of steps, starting with scope definition, record selection, editing, validation, and activation. In the scope definition phase, I can add fields in scope for updating. For this, let's search with the field name Z term. And here we can see one record with table name as KNVV and the field name Z term, which is what we were looking for. Let's select it. Now in selection phase, all the records that needs to be changed can be selected by including different criteria. In this example, I will choose business partner records between 1000018 to 19, remembering from my search results in Maintain Business Partner app. I will also go ahead and remove other fields that are not needed. and click Start. At this point, you can also notice that the completed steps have changed to green. We are also in step three, that is editing. Here we can see that two records are selected and are available to be edited. Let's click on Edit Records. And we have the selected list and click on replace values. Let's enter new values to be 0002 and click replace. We can see that two records are updated. This means that I have now replaced payment terms for these two business partner records from 001 to 002. If we go back, we can see that it has now changed to blue, indicating that the records have changed. 
On continuing, we go to the validation step. Based on system settings, certain checks are performed at this stage and results indicate if any errors or warnings are present. In my case, there is a warning. Let's click on it. Click on show details and click on message. Here we see that it says VAT needs to be added for this business partner, but since it's a warning and also for the purpose of demo, I will go ahead and continue. But please note, if there are errors in validation, the process will not allow you to continue without correcting the error. Now at the last step, we can activate and once completed, we can see the status and it is successful. We can also quickly go back to the Maintain Business Partner app, search for Business Partner starting with SDART, and once again display in Business Partner role as Customer, Sales and Distribution, and in Billing tab, we can now see that the payment terms has been updated or changed to 0002. So that was the demo. We understood how field values for multiple records can be changed using StatMask Maintenance Business Partner app. For further learning, do check out our offerings on OpenSAP. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for further updates.